Okay, uh, thank you. So this uh, house is called uh, House for a Landscape Designer. Uh, we were commissioned to assist uh, landscape designer Ben Scott, uh, who was a friend and a consultant of ours, to provide alterations and additions to Ben's existing family home. This is the, this is the existing home uh, when we came to it. As you can see, it's a, a Victorian villa set between a series of flat buildings to either side. Uh, ben and Emily wish to increase the comparatively low proportion of family gathering space within the existing house, whilst also utilising the site as a canvas for Ben's considerable uh, landscape design skills, and from which he also uh, locates his primary place of work. Uh, the property is this. It's orientated east-west. Uh, it faces Henry Street to the west uh, and contains a large front garden that appealed to Ben as a kind of outdoor showroom when they first bought it. Uh, these are the flats surrounding it uh, in all directions. Uh, thanks, Erica. Um, a laneway winds around to the south of the site via a car park uh, behind the southern flats and contains a roller door uh, to our site um, for vehicular access. Now, these are the photos of the site uh, from the rear. So this is the rear private open space um, in that bottom photo. Uh, laneway access uh, is from the side and you can see the neighbouring flat building and car park to the rear. Uh, which, which contains a degree of noise uh, from the car park that, that you might expect. Uh, and there's a slope to the rear of the site and laneway. Uh, to the north is the walk-up flat building, and this is a view from the front, from the street, uh, with stairs on the right-hand side, which have the ability to overview the rear garden. So we had to deal with that. Uh, this is the existing floor plan. Uh, so it had a high proportion of bedrooms in comparison to a small proportion of living space. Uh, the Scots were a family of four, so two daughters, uh, Lucy and Phoebe. Uh, uh, as well, the house had to cater for Ben's home office, and uh, whilst all on a very specific budget of 575000 uh, These were the photos of the existing condition. Uh, when we came to the project, uh, the rear facade might have um, uh, had initially had a lean-to, uh, but has been heavily adapted over time, and with a bit of an oddity, it had a reduced ceiling space in, in, the, in the last room. Uh, with low interconnectivity with the rear private open space and a lack of light and some of the usual conditions that Victorian villas can fall into. Um, so Ben and Emily's objectives were to increase the living space at the rear, open up the, uh, that living space to northern solar access, so orientate it in, in that way, and uh, create better connection with the garden, seclusion from the neighbours' buildings through siting and a landscape strategy, uh, and, but crucially, and, and particular to this project, was to integrate landscape and architecture as a device to provide a domestic haven and really to provide a framework from which uh, landscape can be showcased and, and integrated as a key feature. Uh, so on the confined budget, change needed to be kept to a minimum. Uh, so the spaces at the front of the house are essentially unchanged. Um, so home office at the front, second living and three bedrooms. Uh, and the key site move was to position the, a new east-west uh, wing of family space along the southern longitudinal boundary to maximise uh, northern solar exposure and to face away from the southern flats and the car park. Um, also, we wanted to gain access via the, the, um, the, the laneway uh, that conveniently hugged the south-east um, corner of the site to allow um, vehicular access and to also allow access to the garage and, and play space at the back there. Uh, so uh, the building uh, addition needed to be conceived in a, in a, in a, in a very ma rational manner um, and so we uh, thought a low slung, essentially rectilinear ground level wing uh, would keep costs at the bare minimum um, and from this, um, this enclosure we wanted to create a lens from which the landscape could be framed and viewed and the, pop, uh, the, the client could populate with his, with his craft and display his craft. Uh, the development of the layout was uh, done in synergy with, sorry, with um, Ben's landscape plan. Um, and that was about working collaboratively with him to, uh, to um, establish a green screen layering uh, to the flats and allow proposed foliage, foliage to seamlessly stitch with the uh, neighbour's distant established foliage. So you can see um, there's a layering of landscape in the left image there and then uh, to the right here, there's the, the foliage behind. Um, um, an out of ground mineral swim pool nestles naturally with the new array of indigenous plants and almost uh, kind of almost natural spring or, or swamp like. Uh, from the front, uh, the original masonry 
facade. Sorry, I'm flicking through here. That's just some details. Uh, from the, f the natural swamp effect. Uh, from the front, the original masonry was preserved and restored and provided the recessive backdrop to the front garden room and the formality of the front garden. Costs were minimised by uh, retaining the ex existing spaces largely intact and as was, with little need for adaptation other than cosmetic. Constructed and clad uh, in timber, the rationally conceived addition retains uh, a low uh, carbon impost and, and a low cost. With intimate uh, low ceilings, the flat roofed mid century tones provide difference and deference to the Victorian building, whilst still feeling um, infinitely spacious via the unadulterated connection with the, the widths of the site enabling a breezeway effect and, and direct connection with landscape. The building form contains a sl slender chamfer extending out from the to form a protective eave um, and which is repeated um, internally um, in the form of this the canted joinery that, um, and the material connection between the kitchen and family. Um, architecturally, the intention was to provide a framework from which to view and activate garden aspects and, and, and its composition. Designed from the inside out, a series of interior picture windows curate view, uh, vignettes to different aspects of, of the garden. Uh, the exterior of the addition acts more as a landscape feature uh, and, uh, uh, or a backdrop, if you like, uh, as opposed to the primary object. And this is uh, a view towards the rear before the landscape's taken hold. And, and kind of in that sense, uh, the addition's exterior is uh, the, the reading of the exterior largely goes unnoticed and um, just as with the existing paling fences that act as a backdrop to the deep vibrant greens, uh, so too does the uh, charred silvertop ash act kind of recessively and harmoniously. Uh, the black glass surfacing combines to reflect the garden whilst dark metal web forge wall, walls provide depth and integration allowing the garden to grow through and infiltrate into the interior with softness, light and breathability. Um, keeping the addition on one flush floor level throughout uh, disguised the fall in the site via landscaping and uh, with a stair at the rear enabled direct access onto the laneway at grade. Uh, Virginia cre creeper and, and evening festoon lighting drapes over the dark pergola and off form chimney, harking back to an almost rural sensibility. Sliding glazed panels open out of the low slung interior uh, and uh, having views to the um, outdoor living areas. Uh, and the highly sculptural and variegated species of the garden and outdoor terrace and off-form chimney breast of the um, outdoor terrace. Sometimes the architect's role is to lead and conduct and create presence um, by nature of being seen. Other times it can be to orchestrate equally important interactions with other aspects of the environment without being seen. Uh, this uh, project is an example of the latter.